hello Rudy thanks to clear that out um, I'm going to show you the the simulation that I did uh, last year uh, but today I'm um, actually this few days have been checking the, the simulation to make sure I got everything correct uh, I do have the the layout all complete I already checked it many times I also have it on 3d uh, to check the traces just in case uh, I have something missing so to make sure everything is correct as your layout and it looks excellent I like I like this design because uh, the only thing you gotta do is just install the components you don't have to worry about the power supply being separate from the from the PCB and uh, also the fuses on the same PCB to protect the, the circuit in case something happened maybe uh, human error so it's an excellent design I'm uh, uh, going to show you the simulation uh, basically I was able to adjust the bias to uh, 24 millivolts uh, reading this uh, this uh, test point uh, MP1 and MP2 so I was able to do that so I'm going to show you that right now I, I don't mind to, to make the video a little longer I'm uh, gonna open this because you know when you do a uh, when you do a bias adjustment it should be no low and no input uh, let me let me take the the connection off from the signal signal generator and I'm going to place a wire to right here it's not necessary but I always do that so just to make sure there's no what the hell happened here <laughs> all right let me let me fix this and I'm going to there you go right there right there so I'm going to show you uh, the bias uh, adjustment was already correct let me see I'm going to uh, turn on the simulation and uh, you can see here on the, on this meter is 24.2 millivolts it's okay it's okay it, it doesn't it does not need to be perfect and the adjustment on the trim pod, I uh, have the trim pod is a 500 ohms trim pod, so it's a 13.4 percent. It's about 67 ohms adjustment. So yeah, it's, it's it's good. Now I'm going to show you the the output uh, to 8 ohms low. Okay, let me connect everything again, like the way it was. So this one, I gotta move this wire eliminated uh, connected here and this one the negative here so I had I got one kilohertz 200 millivolts input sine wave and I had four eight ohms low and this meter measures the the power outputs and this is this one here is the total harmonic distortion and the O scope all right let's see all right there you go all right so I got a the total amount of distortion can go even lower than that if it's just depending on the type of music that you, you listen uh, right now I got 16 watts 16.5 watts uh, let me lower the the input signal to see how how low the total amount of distortion can go this is one example if you uh, listen to soft music I think it's like maybe two or three watts of soft music that's the way I see it you know I'm not like an exaggerated guy like those guys that they want to have like 500 watts <laughs> amplifiers so no I'm not like that okay let's go with uh, 42 millivolts oh there you go uh, okay here uh, you can see on this window is 0 0.001 percent maybe it can be lower remember remember this uh, this uh, uh, simulation is not that 100% accurate. Maybe in real time it's probably better. Uh, right, and the output is 700. No, uh, let me let, let's go with one watt or three watts. Let me see. I got. Oh, let me see. All right, I have one watt, 1.6 watt. Good. Okay, the maximum output uh, power. Let's go with. Uh, let me stop the simulation and. Uh, Let's go with 500 millivolts or 600. Let's go with 600 millivolts. Input sine wave. There you go. Let me see. Oh, oh, it's clipping. Yeah, I know it's clipping. Yeah. Yeah, because I was reading the the, the information that you actually you don't need to. Yeah, it's clipping right now. Don't worry about that. I think I put I put too much uh, signal. 
I think it's because I connect the negative and when you connect the negative on the signal generator it's different remember it's not the same okay right, right now I'm going to disconnect the the negative or the signal uh, function generator actually is a function generator so I apologize my English is not that perfect but I try to do my best you know what I mean <laughs> it's not it's not simple ah, there you go that's what I'm saying so much better yeah that's the why the signal generator negative was connected okay let's go with the I think it's, it's a 0 0.7 volt translate to 700 milli millivolts peak okay there you go let me see how many watts I got okay I got 37 watts all right Seven hundred okay, seven hundred milli uh, millivolts, fifty watts. It's okay, fifty watts. I was reading the the specs on the amplifier on the original website. It's okay, F fifty watts is, is fine. Uh, let's change this to okay. Let me go with seven hundred here, seven hundred plain, and then I'm going to change the change the low to four ohms, four ohms low, and then activate the simulation to see how many watts. I got hundred watts. That's perfect. That's just right. I mean. So yeah, it, this is a nice amplifier. Maybe maybe at the end of this year, probably not. I don't know. Maybe in a few months. I'm, I I want to try it out this amplifier, and the circuit <clears throat> the, that I mentioned, the Q. I think it's uh, what I forgot. Uh, Q Q80 and Q80 80 and 81. I was able to simulate it here. That's why I placed these switches to change from the from different uh, options, the, the two options from the jumpers from the from the PCB that are here so I was able to simulate that I can see, as you can see here are the, the jumpers so it works really nice I mean I, I like this this design is the good thing about it is that if you buy a chassis you will have plenty of space to install it on the, on the side as I, I saw the pictures that's why I save it, all the information of the of the amplifier and this is a great. Like, this, I think this is this is your your picture. That that's a great design because right now you don't have to worry about uh, having the power supply separate. Cause everything is in the same spot. So that's a good idea. So that's why I like this design. And I spent some time uh, to try to copy the your layout to make it look nice. So maybe maybe later I, go, I, I will try it out. Okay, I play, I place the name here. Uh, this is uh, only uh, this. What it says? Layout remake in Quebradillas, Puerto Rico. Cause I live in Quebradillas, Puerto Rico. Uh, these are the names. Rudy Ra Ratlos. I'm sorry. I do not. <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce your name. Ratlos. I don't know how to say Rat. Rudy. I know Rudy, but Ratlos. Sorry, I do not know how to pronounce your name. Sorry about that, man. So it's a great design, man. Uh, and thank you for uh, for posting the image onto the into the forum so uh, other people can you know uh, DIY their own uh, version I mean this is actually just your 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 design uh, I'll be I'll be proud to if I, one day I uh, I make this amplifier I will I will post some pictures of the of the PCB with the old components and stuff like that okay Rudy uh, thank you thank you again for uh, for your design I uh, hope you have a, a good day bro all right